be beautiful. Hello, beautiful. In today's video, we are going to be trying out Patrick Ta's new major headlines blush palette. If you would like to see if this palette is even worth it and is truly long lasting like it claims to be, then just keep watching because in today's video, we are going to be trying out all three of the shades from this palette. We're going to do a full day's wear test and we're also going to apply the cream blush on top of the powder blush to see if it truly gives us that glowy skin-like finish. I love making beauty product review videos for you and I also love trying out new makeup like this blush palette. So if you are also into that, you definitely gotta subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified of when I post new videos, which I do quite frequently, almost every single day. So make sure to subscribe and make sure to hit that notification bell. And if you find that you are enjoying this video or if you find that it is helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up because that will help the YouTube world suggested to other people who might also be interested in this blush palette if you just find that you are so in love with this blush palette by the end of this video if you feel like you want to pick it up for yourself make sure to give this video a thumbs up and without further ado let's get into the video this is the gorgeous blush palette and we're gonna go ahead and open it up i think this is such beautiful packaging where are my tweezers a little tip, if you ever struggle with opening up these packages, or if you just don't want to ruin it, you could just use some tweezers and pop, it's open. This is actually my first Patrick Ta purchase. However, I have heard such good things about Patrick Ta. I've always wanted to try Patrick Ta. And uh, why not start with the blushes? Because people seem to love Patrick Ta blushes. So this is what the inside looks like. It's really sturdy and very protected. Whoa. Oh my God. This palette is stunning. Wow. Perfect in every way, shape, and form. I love the simplicity of it. It's just got his name and his logo. It says what it's for, for the face. I also like how it has that little mirror effect. This is probably one of the nicest blush palettes I've ever seen in the cream section there's this little flap something i've never seen before off first glance i absolutely love this it's not that easy to open you really have to dig in there so if you don't have nails a little bit of struggle patrick ta patrick ta patrick ta i always want to say patrick's ta in patrick ta's instagram he was showing how to apply this blush and he would use a new lipstick and he said that you can actually apply the blush on top of a new lipstick i'm gonna go in with she's vibrant Ooh, that is quite pigmented i don't know if you could see that but there's a little tiny amount of fallout in the pan not too much i'm gonna actually dust some of this off i don't want to go too crazy Not too bad. And then I just blend that in. Okay, it definitely has a velvety feel to it. There's like a strong line right here that I'm kind of struggling to blend out. It could be the brush's fault. I don't know if you could tell, but see there's like a line right here. And I'm struggling to like blend that out into the skin she's pretty but she doesn't feel very different from the other blushes I've tried I do really like the way it feels though it does definitely feel very velvety let's go ahead and apply the cream on top which I'm really excited for and I'm actually just gonna use the beauty blender because in Patrick Todd's video he used a beauty blender dab it in there Mmm, okay. Yeah, that's that's the magic right there. I love how smooth and kind of airbrushed it looks. It's definitely sinking in to my skin, creating that very natural skin-like finish. If you're into formulas and if you're into that like nice, luxurious, velvety texture feel, then you should definitely pick this up. It almost feels like a professional makeup artist came in 
and did my makeup. I'm gonna remove the powder from my brush with my color block remover. This is from Amazon. I mention this product all the time in my videos just because it's so amazing. Genuinely gets all of the product off of your brush. I don't know if it's the brush that's creating such a sharp line as you can see right here or if it's if it's the blush. This is actually looking very similar to the pink shade. It's just a hint deeper. I do wish this color was more of a brownish. Let's just go in with our fingers and see if it looks any different. Ooh, that's actually quite easy to use with your just your finger. Yeah, it still has this pinky feel. So I don't know if it's because I use this brush and there's like a little bit of the pink left on this brush, but I do prefer this to be a little bit more on the brown side. I feel like this kind of leans in more to the pink side. But again, that could be because I use the brush. If I were to pick up a blush, I would definitely pick up this one. If they just had a powder one, I would definitely pick up this one because I really do love this color. I feel like it's a bit more unique. Like this side, I see this color all the time, but this one, I don't see this color that often. I, I really like it. I'm gonna take this cream and I'm gonna apply this on my lips. Ooh, that's nice. We're gonna use our fingers this time just to see if it'll work. Ooh, this feels so nice. I kinda wanna use the Beauty Blender again because I feel like it's gonna look a lot better with the Beauty Blender. It's like magic. It just became one with my skin. Okay, I'm still gonna go in again with the Beauty Blender because I think I do prefer the Beauty Blender. Wow. That's beautiful. The blushes by itself are probably $20 to $30. I'll have to fact check that. But I think it is totally worth it because it's really difficult to get this type of look this is hands down the best blush cream blush i have used it also kind of reminds me of the elf putty blushes but just more like amped up let's go ahead and change up our look in three two one we are here on another day and i'm so excited because we are going to be trying the lightest pink shade we're gonna go ahead and try She's a doll. It is the bright baby doll pink. Gonna blend it out. I love how all of these colors are suitable for all different skin tones. This one, just with the powder by itself, I love. Again, it's not really unique of a color. I even feel like I could put a little bit more. This is also going to be a really nice shade to put on the nose as well. Now, before I apply the powder on this side, I'm gonna go in on this side again with She's Baked because I wanna see if it looks different. It kind of looks like it did yesterday. So again, I was just hoping that the She's Baked was like more brownish. It's almost more like a deep, kind of a red color leaning more on red i'm gonna go in with just a little bit more want to see what will happen Ooh, i love how this one you could just keep building up and it still doesn't look too crazy Okay, so we built it up, but it's still, it doesn't, I don't look like a clown. <laughs> so I love that. Now let's go ahead and go in with the cream. And I'm not afraid to put a lot because I know it's gonna look okay. And then I'm gonna go in with the sponge and apply it that way. <sighs> Name a better blush, I cannot. Look at this side compared to this side how it just like melted into my skin and became a part of my complexion. You can apply a lot, but like I said, it's just because it looks like it's a part of your skin, it's not too much. I feel like it's never too much and I love that. I also kind of feel like this is a really good blush for beginners. For me, blush is one of the one 
was one of the easier things to apply. But you know, we always have those times where we put too much. But this one, I feel like it's very easy to make a mistake and have it be forgiven. But once you've got the cream on top of the powder, um, it's gonna be very difficult, I feel like, to mess up. Because as you can see, when I just put the powder, eh, you, maybe you could put, maybe you put a little bit too much. Um, but once you put the cream on, it's so, it's like going to be forgiven. Instead of a cream, it blends into this like satiny finish. I mean, you could see on my skin, it looks satiny. I'm a bit obsessed with She's a Doll. It quite possibly might be my favorite one. Like, how cute is that? And now, is this blush long lasting? Holy crap, yes it is. I wore it all day yesterday and it looked identical to when I first applied it. I'm also reading here that She's Baked is actually a tanned mauve. That's my fault that I assumed that it was going to look exactly like the color in the palette and that it was going to be this more like of an orangey brown shade. Oh, I forgot to apply cream on my lips. I'm gonna go in with She's a Doll and I'm gonna put that on my lips. Just in the center. Oh, that is so cute. So if you just look at this side, Oh gosh, I cannot wait to use this during the springtime. This is my first Patrick Ta makeup purchase, but I am there to try out more Patrick Ta makeup. So if you have any recommendations on what Patrick Ta makeup I should try, let me know down in the comments. And with that said, I have talked way too much about just one product in one video, so I'm going to head on out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more content like this. I'm always reviewing new makeup on my channel. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in another video. Bye.